Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Director. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to configure hierarchy in Informatica Data Director that is IDD. The prerequisite to configure hierarchy in IDD is we have to make sure we have configured the hierarchy in MDM Hub using the hierarchy section of the model. So before configuring the hierarchy section, we have to make sure we have the base objects accordingly or we can create the base objects through while creating the entities in the hierarchy. However, in our today's demonstration, we have created the tables such as employee which has the employee number, employee ID. Then we have created organization which has the organization name and the organization ID. The association between the employee and the organization is done through the association table by using row ID object of the organization and row ID object of the employee. In order to do the reporting among the employees, we have created the reporting view which have the <coughs> row ID object of the employee as a one column and the row ID object of the employee as a second column. There is one more column uh, one more table called as a product which are the foreign key relationship for the organization so organizations are holding the product so that is the reason product name product product id are present in the product table along with the row id object of the organization table so these these are the basic configuration we have made in the base object level corresponding to this base object table we have the landing table landing for association landing for employee landing for organization landing for product and landing for reporting once we configure that we will configure the hierarchy section so in the hierarchy we have configured the three entities first is employee second is organization and third is product in the base object employee entity we have created one entity type called as employee then we have the organization as an entity type under the organization view entity and we have the product entity type under the product view product entity after that we will create the two types of hierarchies one is employer employer is nothing but it's a who reports to whom so it's a kind of reporting purpose then we have created the product hierarchy also to achieve the foreign key relationship then we have created relationship based object this relationship based object actually nothing but it is the association between the employee and the organization where the employee uh, where the organization employs employee then in the product relationship object we have the configure the made by as a relationship so where product is made by organization something like that in the reporting section we have the report to configuration where one employee reports to other other employee then we have configured the admin profile make sure make here note the profile name is admin profile so what are the profile name we are using we have to make sure we are going to use that in the idd in the admin profile again we have the organization entity product entity and the employee entity once we configure that, we are also configuring the relationship object under the profile for the employees made by and for the reports to. Once you successfully configure that, make sure the hierarchy is working properly in the hierarchy manager. Also make sure you have created appropriate packages for the corresponding hierarchy. So these are the prerequisites before configuring hierarchy in the IDD. Once everything is successful, everything is fine, go to the hierarchy and make sure you have the valid profile. So if you choose that and click on the valid HM configuration, it will give us result. If it is everything is successful, then and then we'll go to the IDD application. So here is the IDD application. The name of application is IDD custom. Click on the edit option. And here you can see the logical ORS database application source system and HM configuration. From the HM configuration section, choose the 
admin profile master click on the bind once it is successful actually the admin profile which we just created will be associated with our given IDD application click on the save validate if required generate the business entity schema so uh, we already done that and now we are going to see how the hierarchy will be displayed in the IDD in order to see that click on the link log into the application and then we will use the query so I already created one employee query before querying any data make sure you have already loaded the data for the employee organization reporting association and the product tables specifically in today's demo we are going to see the employees data so I have made sure in the database the employees data is correctly loaded so here is uh, here is employee table which has the data like first name last name etc employee name and the employee ID we have the corresponding to employee we also populated the reporting table so here is the reporting table which actually tell us which employee reports to which employee so this this is like employee ID 1 and employee ID 2 and reports to is the re relationship type so let's pick up one of the row ID object I'll pick the one as the row ID object and search in the IDD so I put this row ID object 1 in, th in this query and run the search so it will show us the record with a upstate indicator 1, row ID object 1 it's a type of employee the name of employee is Melinda and the employee ID is 1001 here are two buttons enabled one is open other is open hierarchy let's open the record here we can see the data the relationship also we can see it is report here we can see the Roland Slagel is reporting and if you want to see the matches we can see the matches there is no currently matches found because we have not run the match and merge job let's go to the data tab uh, we can see the history if it is history is enabled we can see the cross ref cross reference and we again go back to the data and here also we have the open hierarchy button so either from this place or from the previous tab we can open the hierarchy click on the hierarchy button it will load the data from the database and we can see 1 reports to 15 so this is the 1 row ID object 1 Melinda reports to Roland so that is the relationship of present in the database like suppose if you see one reports to 15 that is re Melinda reports to Roland if you want to expand more records you can expand it and you can see the other records corresponding to that child so these are the people's also reporting if you do not like this kind of layout so you can change the layout suppose you like this layout select that and apply so layout will be changed if you if you want to change any other layout a tree like structure or explorer view you can apply it and see that so this is explorer view going to narrow the current filter uh, filter setting inactive relationship unidirectional relationship and bidirectional relationship will not be displayed so click yes and this says the entity graph has more than one parent so if you have the more than one parent in your in your view so suppose for this record let me click this record too if the given record has a more than one parent then it will not able to display that 
there is one more uh, picture is there for the navigation if you want to see the top one you can have if you want to see the bottom one you can just choose or move it to see the hierarchy there is one more option to make it smaller also to visualize the big picture here is the expand button here is also one more expand so you can expand n number of attributes or the records so by this way you can visualize the record or show the record in the IDD you can choose the layout whatever you want and just click on the apply and the record will be displayed accordingly so it is just to visualization purpose now regarding the filters suppose I want to show only reports apply and the, what are the displays showing it is just showing the reports I will remove the made by and product to apply select this remove the everything for the product apply for the employee I'll just keep the reports to apply go to the layout let's try out explore view it still says the there are multiple parents available and that's true so if you consider this record it has a multiple parent so that is the reason or this record has multiple parent that is the reason it is not able to display appropriately however you can choose any other explorer view to display your data it is just explorer will will not work so by this way you can see this is the only one parent it has uh, it has one parent and I think this is the one of the way way you can display your the hierarchy so this is for the today's session for the more details about the hierarchy we'll see in upcoming session thank you for watching my video and have a nice time do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about informatic MDM, Java, Hadoop and other technologies. Thank you and have a nice time.